And joining us live to discuss the recent developments with the CBN and the NSAS protesters, legal practitioner Liberos Oshama speaks with us. Good morning, uh, Mr. Oshama. Yeah, good morning, Anissa. Is this a way of the government fighting back at the protesters? Yeah, um, I think if you, say, if you say the government is fighting back, we are not um, far from the truth. Because a situation where the government says that they understand that they write a fundamental right to protest, and that also they've set up a various commission of inquiries to meet up the demands of the protesters. And yet, in another breath, you, you freeze accounts of protesters, you uh, refuse them from traveling, it means you're truly not ready to meet up the demands of the protesters. It was just a window dressing. So it means that government still does not see itself as responsible for the protests in the first place. So they do not believe in the right to protest. They still see it as a crime when people protest. So that's why you see what is happening here. The same government that have not been able to trace uh, funding for Boko Haram, who have not heard that they arrested somebody or freeze accounts of uh, people who are sponsoring terrorism and kidnapping or militancy. But they see protesters as a threat to their collective existence. It's sad. Uh, while some you know, argue that uh, they are not surprised at the government's move, but on what ground would uh, you know, they have made such a... I mean, on what ground would have made the courts grant such request? You saw what? I'm asking you, on what grounds do you think you know, would have made the courts grant the request of the CBN to freeze the accounts of the protesters? In the first place, those... Those orders were granted as party. So, you, and, and, a party order only lasts for seven days. If not renewed, and if the other party is not heard. So, when you grant an order as party to freeze an account, maybe they would have um, informed the, the court that those accounts were used fraudulently or that they were under investigation, and that if they are not frozen for at least the next, next seven days, the people might remove funds from it. And so on those grounds, the court will grant such other ex parte. So it's okay. But after seven days, if the orders are not renewed, and a motion or notice is not said on the other party, to come also explain his own side, of the story of why the account should not be frozen, then that order, those order automatically is vacated. And so to tell you how fraudulent government can be, why do you need to seek such order as part of when the protest is already over and you have promised that you are looking into the grievance raised by the young people? What stops them from putting the owners of the account on notice to say, come show us why these accounts should not be frozen. But to now go behind, file other uh, motion ex parte, and then freeze people's account, for me, is the, the height of irresponsibility on the part of government. Because there is no danger in as far as those accounts is concerned apparent danger would warrant you asking the court to grant you an order as party to quickly freeze somebody's account. Mm. 
Mr. Shama, the other time it was an encounter with immigration and now it's uh, their account. You've been talking about this, but just to emphasize how genuine is the government's willingness to actually sit on a round table to address the demands of the protesters? I already told you, uh, Anita, that uh, the government is not willing to meet the demands of the protesters. Now, take the Lagos State Panel, for example. By virtue of Section 1, Subsection 1 of the Lagos State uh, Panel of Inquiry law, the governor does not have power to set up a panel of inquiry that borders on brutality of a go federal government agency. It doesn't have that power. The only power they have is to set up a panel of inquiry on matters squarely within the jurisdiction or within the powers of the state government. That said, the uh, state governor also is a, a suspect in the killings in Lekki. And here he is the man who set up a panel of inquiry. The federal national human rights also have offices all over the Federation. The National Human Rights Commission is properly clothed with all the power to set up a commission of inquiry to investigate human rights abuses. So you're basically but the National Human Rights does not uh... even have a board as we speak. Hmm. So, so uh, lastly, okay. like I said before, when you now have a government that is promising you justice, but melting out injustice on the other hand, by refusing you to, to travel, by freezing your account, how do you now expect that such a government is ready to actually, you know, melt out justice in your case? No wonder I learned, I don't know if it is true, that the young people are, are in the panel of inquiry in Lagos had they voluntarily pulled out of uh, the sitting of the panel that the panel was not set up to, 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 to meet the justice of the demand. Yes, uh, that, that's true, um, Mr. Oshama. Now, the Lagos uh, panel of inquiry sitting has been halted, you know, because, you know, members of that panel have been affected by the CBN's move. So, finally, uh, what's your message to these persons? My message to the government is, what led to the, pro the peaceful protest is the injustice in the land, the misgovernance in the land, the uh, lack of transparency in government, the suffering, poverty, killings, and bad governance. And the earlier government, we realized that it is, they should take lessons from what happened and begin to address the problem of bad governance in Nigeria be better for them. Otherwise, they can gag whoever they want to gag today. They can freeze whatever account they want to freeze today. But in a few years from now, if care is not taken, if these issues are not addressed, if paraventure the artisans, the so-called thugs, get to unite with the internet savvy youth, there will be no hiding place for government. Because the army of unemployed youth that we saw unleash mayhem on the society when the peaceful ones were shot at by the military, is something a, society, a, a reasonable society should not do toy with. They are comparing us with China. In China, you don't have homeless people. China has the fastest train in the world. China executes publicly corrupt public officials. We are discussing here, we are looking at symptoms rather than the root cause of the problem. We believe that, we do not believe that lack of leadership is what is causing most of the problems 
that we're having in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Let them continue to delude themselves and deceive themselves in this internet age. Sooner than later, this problem they fail to address today will, will be the undoing. Thank you very much, Mr. Ashama, for your time and thoughts on the news. My pleasure. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.